Hey y'all, what's up? So the power is back on. We only had to spend about 25 to 30 minutes without power. I'm so grateful for that. You know, sitting there and noticing that my power went out, and how quickly it just went out is a great reminder of how quickly the rapture is going to happen. You're going to be sitting there doing your everyday life, eating, drinking, selling, giving in marriage and marrying. You're going to be watching TV. You're going to be sleeping in your bed. You're going to be eating, taking a shower. You're going to be doing normal everyday life and then all of a sudden everything is going to change because the rapture is going to happen it's going to happen so quick you're not even going to have time to blink to realize what happened because a twinkling of an eye is way quicker than a blink of an eye and that's insane because i think blinking your eyes is really quick but that twinkling is so much quicker and you know people are going to have to process what happened and if they don't know the truth about what the word of God says they're going to be believing whatever Satan is going to try to spoon feed them and Satan's already working on the alien alibi and a bunch of other things the people who don't know the truth, the people who aren't taught the truth, are not, is not going to understand what the rapture is. So even if we think that these people are a lost cause, and we think that, oh, if we tell them they're not going to believe us, then we know that they're not going to give their life to Jesus before the rapture. So what's the point? Well, they could be a tribulation saint because you can ignore all you want, but you have somebody like, take me and my husband for just an example. Let's say I'm sick because I, I do. My husband knows about the rapture. My husband's sick and tired of me here telling him about the rapture. Um, But I've told him, I've told it to him enough that he knows when I disappear and he keeps rejecting Jesus. What the fiddly fricker doubloos are you doing? Come here. Come here. You can't unmake the bed. Don't give me that look. Good Lord have mercy. My dog Titan is over on my husband's side of the bed. Unmaking it. I made the bed and my dog is just sitting there. Unmaking his bed and staring at me like, look at what I'm doing. And I'm like, why do I... He leaves my side alone. Unless he's having one of those hot blanket kind of days where he wants my heated blanket. Then he'll unmake my bed and wrap himself in my heated blanket. And he knows he's not supposed to do that. And he just stares at me like, look what I got away with. And I'm just like... I love him. But it irritates me. But he's my baby. He's my fur baby. I've raised him since the day he was born. I scooped that big old puppy from between the wall and the bed, which I had to get a new bed when my dog had puppies on my bed. But, <laughs> and then we had to get a new bed when the puppy that we kept tore a hole in the bed on my husband's side of the bed. Luckily, this dog don't eat or tear up anything anymore. But when this dog did tear up things, it was my husband's side of the bed, my husband's chair, my husband's side of the couch, my husband's shoes, and he'd leave all my stuff alone. Funniest thing in the world. <laughs> um, but anyways, we're, we're going to be living our everyday lives. And then all of a sudden, poof, rapture. Things are going to be changed. Out of nowhere. 
And then you're going to have people who are going to be like, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. They were right. They were right. They were right. It was the rapture. And then they're going to be looking to and fro trying to find that information. So even if you think people are a lost cause, don't give up on them. Don't stop telling them about the rapture. Don't give up on them. Don't stop praying for them. Now, don't try to force it down their throat. Believe me, been there, done that. It just makes things worse. Um, what you want to do is put the information out there. Send them a video. Um, share stuff to your Facebook. My husband gets annoyed by that, but I'm getting the truth out there and I don't care. Um, me just sharing a post isn't shoving it down people's throat. It's just me sharing a post on my social media platform. I make a video on my social media platform. And it happens to be about the rapture. It happens to be about Jesus and God's word and stuff like that. So maybe the power went out because God wanted you guys to get a message of how quickly the rapture is going to come. How quickly the rapture is going to happen. Be prepared. Jesus is coming. Trust in the gospel. Because the rapture is going to happen soon. Jesus is coming. The signs are all here. Everything we're told to look for. It started. And we were told when these things start. Look up. We need to be looking up for our redemption draw with an eye. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here. Hope you guys have a. What was that? Must have been when they're toys. <laughs> um, anyways, the dogs have crinkly toys and they kind of freak me out when they play with them. Um, but anyways, Jesus is coming soon. Hope you guys have a great night or day. I don't know, it's like one thirty something in the morning. Who knows? By the time this video comes up, it may be close to 2 o'clock by the time I actually post this video. Who knows? Um, but yeah. Wasn't planning on making this many videos today, but you know what? When the Holy Spirit leads and guides me, this is what happens. Um, but I hope to see you guys in heaven soon. Please don't reject Jesus. Please accept him before the rapture. I don't want you left behind. All right. Um, bye, guys.